I'm retaking the LSAT, Steve. Um, I was at a 150 on my first round, um, studied for probably about three months um, in the midst of having a kid. Um, so my, my goal here, my aim, the, the, the law school that I'm going to apply to is, is local to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Median is 156. Um, I'm shooting for 160s because I want to, as, I've, as you've stated in some of your videos, I want to maximize my scholarship money. Um, I'm a working professional, have been for quite some time. I'll be 40 this year. Um, I'll have a rich application. It's just I know that this, uh, especially from a scholarship perspective, um, this school relies heavily on LSAT score. Um, I think that the, the way I've been reading or you know, listening to the videos and, and watching and gathering as much as I possibly can, um, the study materials that I had before engaging in your program, Steve, um, did profess to some extent um, this review process, get, you know, take 10 questions, get five wrong, review those, as opposed to just saying, oh, it was B, you yeah, know, that makes sense. You know, I think just by pure application of the Socratic review method, um, I'm probably going to add 10 points, I would say. Um, I'm pretty strong on logic games. Logical reasoning, my, my primary windfall there, primary headwind there is really identifying the types of questions and then strategizing for the individual types and really committing that type of a fundamental approach to memory, I would say. Um, so I'm going to focus quite a bit on that um, and then, you know, pick up on the reading comprehension, which, which I did relatively well in those sections in most of the practice examinations that I, that I have uh, had access to prior. I did the, L, the, the law hub that, that what LSAC plus thing. So I've got, you know, examinations 19 through 89. Um, I've got the, the books for 62 through 71 and beyond. Uh, I'm, if, if I just stick, you know, stick my nose into it and study, I'm going to do well. I know that for a fact. Um, my question to you, Steve, is the, 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 cause I basically have two months. I'm going to do the October run, right? Um, do you, are you aware, is, is it going to be a, a, uh, are they going to offer an LSAT? I don't know they're not calling an LSAT flex anymore, but is that going to be a digital exam or a digital administration of that exam? Yes. So okay. it's going to be online. Okay. It'll look and feel just like law hub. Okay. okay. And it's going to be online for the foreseeable future. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, so I, that my first one in April was the LSAT flex. Um, the three section, you know, so uh, I, I'm not concerned about test day prep. I'm not concerned about the interface. I'm not concerned about taking the examination with nothing on your desk, nothing underneath the desk, you know, any of that, anything of that nature. Um, I'm just going to continuously watch your approaches to the, the, the fundamental approaches to all of them, despite the fact that I've got some experience already. Um, get those fundamentals reviewed. Um, do the Socratic method and just, you know, uh, test, 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 test. I'm not going to study 55 hours a week, um, 15, you know, 20. I got a four month old, um, you know, plus 40 to 50 hours a week. Right. So um, my wife is very supportive. So I, I've got enough time to be able to do what I think I need to do. So like I said, Socratic method across the board, some review on foundations, hit logical reasoning very heavily and uh, perfect logical games do some brush up on reading comp. I think I should be good. Sounds like you have a solid plan. And I just want to check in to make sure that you're aware of the new four section yep. format starting August that will apply to October. Okay, good. Yep. So, yep. Sounds um, like you're now, doing all the right things. Okay, cool. Um, the other question, and I had a, just a couple of questions on the experimental section. You know, so so is the the, the experimental section, um, and maybe I, I, I just didn't pick this up in your, in your video, Steve, so forgive me, but... Um, is the, the experimental section, is it, is it going to be of one of the three varieties? Is it going to be a reading comp or an LR or an LG? Is it, is it a variety of one of those, or is it primarily like logical reasoning or something to that effect? It could be any of the three types. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm working my way through the videos. Um, I, I like, you know, frankly, um, I've watched a lot of Kaplan. I've watched a lot of these guys on YouTube, a lot of these folks trying to just get, you know, every time I watch a video, I think I can garner just one more iota of insight to be able to get that, that additional point. You know, your statistics on one additional point can provide you another $4,000 in scholarship money. I mean, that now my mouth is watering at like another 20 points on top of my score, you know, if I can do that. But 
Uh, but yeah, I think that 160s is tenable. Um, you know, if I do the right things and, and provide myself enough time, maybe it's a 170, maybe it's a 175, like you were able to do, you know. Um, uh, but like I say, the median is 156. If I do better than that, get into the 160s with the the rich um, application that I have, I don't foresee um, foresee myself getting the the you know to the financial goal that I want. Let's put it that way. Solid. Well, I sense your dedication. I sense your commitment. It's great to hear that you have the support from your wife. Yeah. I have a little one myself. I know it could be tough to get other things done yeah. while you have while you have a baby. And so, just kudos to you for getting the support, having the family there, doing what you can to make it happen. And one thing I'd recommend is that let's say your score does get into the high 160s, 170s beyond. Sure. Make sure that you talk with the school okay. because some schools, if you get a 170 plus and they're at a 156 median, yeah. they might be like, why does this guy want to go here? Yeah. Okay. So just make okay. it clear to them that, hey, you have geographic ties here. They'll see it on yeah. your resume, of course, but yeah. just say, hey, I strongly want to go to your school. I'm looking for a full ride. And you okay. can you yeah. word, it, word it carefully, of course, but let them know that, hey, you are committed to them. You've researched their school in depth. You want yeah. to go there in particular, and you could list all the reasons why, both geographic and also unique to their school as well. Okay. Okay. That, that's a good point. You know, in all reality, so th this is kind of a unique um, program. It's a school called Mitchell Hamlin in St. Paul. Um, Hamlin used to have a law school. William Mitchell had a law school. Now they're, you know, the one campus. And it's a hybrid program designed for working professionals wanting to study, you know, transactional IP, whatever the case might be. So, um, so that's what the, these these attorneys that I work with on a daily basis they they keep saying, you know, well, don't you know, don't just look at this one school. I mean, if you can score well enough, you know, go do this, go do that. Um, but you know, I really can't afford to quit my job and and go full time at this point. So, but that's a really good point. Um, I have heard that from other resources as well. They're going to come back and say, listen you know, you, you know, 175, go to, you know, go to, go to Yale or something to that effect, which I'm not, you know, interested in doing that either way, but maybe I would be, I guess, but at any rate, um, no, that's good advice. I will talk to them. And I've actually already form formulated a good relationship with the admissions crew. I know a couple of them as well. So, you know, I just want to put together a good showing so I can, I can get as much money as possible, Steve. Fantastic. Well, you're doing all the right things. Focus on that review process. Like you said, that could be the biggest difference maker for you. Okay. Okay. Um, outside of that, Steve, um, I didn't really have any other questions. I think the content that you put up is good. I think the structure is good. I mean, I, I like your model and the content is is 100% worth the money that you pay. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I appreciate the time. Thank you. No, I'm glad to have you in the program. I'm glad you're finding the course materials useful. Keep at it. Reach out if you need anything. Happy to help. Thanks very much, Steve. Have an excellent day. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.